In this video, I'll show you how to implement a mobile application so that a split layout is applied when running on tablets. The DevExtreme SPA framework will help us with this task. I've already created a DevExtreme application and added views to it. Here's my Categories view. It contains the DX list widget that's bound to the category table in the demo data service. On a list item click, the Products view will be invoked. The Products view is also a list view. It contains a list of products. If you click on a product, the Product Details view is invoked. This view displays the product object that's been passed as a parameter from the previous view. There's also an About view. This view is added to the application by the application template. As you can see, I added the Navigation view. I'll show it later. Now let's have a look at the application object. The navbar layout is set by default. Let's change the set of navigation commands that will be displayed by the navbar widget and specify the Categories view as a Start view. And let's run the application. As you can see, everything is fine on a phone. But if you look at this application on a tablet, you'll notice that there's a lot of empty space because the views designed for phones do not fill the bigger tablet screens. A solution for tablet apps is to place both the list and detail views on one screen. So I'll change the application's layout set to split. This is a layout set for tablet applications. It contains the split layout to display views. We're going to run this application both on a phone and tablet. So I'll have to provide a custom layout set. I set a split layout for tablets, a navbar layout for iOS and Android phones, and a pivot layout for Windows 8 phones. For non-root views in Android and Windows 8 phones, I set a simple layout. And let's run the application. As you can see, the split layout is applied on the tablets. But we should set a master pane for list views. To do this, I'll set the pane option for the categories and products views to master. And let's see the result. Currently, when a product in the product list displayed in the master pane is clicked, details of the clicked product are displayed in the detail pane. However, it would be better if the clicked product is highlighted in the product list, so that it's clear which product's detailed information is given in the detail pane. For this, I'll save the currently chosen item in the DX list widget to the selected product ID field and call the navigate to details method when the action associated with the list item is performed. I'll also create and reference CSS classes for Products view. Finally, I'll add the introduced list item selected style to the product in the DX list widget whose ID equals the one that is saved to the selected product ID field. For this purpose, I'll use the CSS knockout binding. And let's see the result. All right, everything works fine. Now I'll show you why I added the navigation views. As you can see, our application doesn't have global navigation, and the About view that we added to the application's navigation with the Categories view is not accessible. So, I introduced a view that will be shown on Application Start. In this view, I added the DX list widget to serve as a global navigation command container for navigation commands. Let's put this view to the master view using the pane option and check that the about view is also put to the master pane.
Let's run the application to see the result. And we have a real split application. And that's it. Make sure to check out more videos about DevExtreme on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.